Welcome, ladies and gents, back to the 3.0 channel where we live and learn by listening. Thanks so much for tagging along on our second episode of our Classics and Oldies Marathon this weekend. Hopefully, everybody's having a fantastic weekend so far. For those of you who are new here to the channel, my name is Chad. Welcome, welcome aboard. Kick your feet up, relax, enjoy some great music from the days gone by. This time, we're taking the YouTube time machine back to the 60s. A band with kind of a strange name, and if you guys know the history or background of this, let me know in the comment section what is the deal with the name of this band. If I can get some insight from you guys, that would be great. All I know is that uh, I think the Supremes either was this was their original song or they did a cover of it. I'm not sure which is which, but you guys let me know that in the comment section as well. I do know one thing, the Supremes were Supreme back in the 60s, I do know that for a fact. Anyway folks, for those of you that are new here, we do this every other weekend, okay? An oldies and classics marathon. So if you're into that sort of thing, if that sparks your interest, consider subscribing to the channel to get locked in right here on the 3L so you don't miss one single video or one single update to the channel. That being said folks, we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's dive right in. Ominous. that scarf or whatever that is around his neck. Oh! Rocket! Wow! Gosh, I don't know where to stop it anywhere on this. Just like from the very get-go, folks. <laughs> it's definitely so much power that's being exhibited here. Musically, vocally, I mean, they're just putting everything into this. <laughs> and it keeps us hanging on. Hanging on every word they're saying. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now, I definitely have heard this uh, from the Supremes, but it, it's good to to hear this band here, and I'm assuming this is their number one hit, because I honestly had not heard of this band ever before. Uh, I don't know if they're a one-hit wonder, if they have a lot of other hits, so if they do, you know, don't take offense, you know, I just, I don't know anything about this band. 
So uh, you guys let me know that, but wow. I mean, they're just like putting every ounce of energy into this. I mean, he can't even sit still in his chair while he's playing. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's keep it going. That drummer. <laughs> oh, oh, it just chills all over, man. Keeps us hanging on, that's for sure. Who is that drummer? You guys let me know who that drummer is. Hey. Woo. Oh my God. Okay, just reading some of the comments here, it says, uh, sonically, it has more in common with the 70s than the 60s. Vanilla Fudge is recognized for their huge impact on a lot of the 70s rock bands, and this was their signature song. Okay, that answers one of my questions. Uh, it says, folks, this is how you do a cover. Okay, that just answered my second question. Totally recognizable, yet totally transformed from the Motown sound to the vision of this band and performed completely live. No lip syncing or production tricks. Pure energy and genius at work here. Wow, I couldn't agree more. This is definitely, definitely high energy. It's a transformation from what the Supremes did, but yet it's still recognizable, as the gentleman here pointed out in his comment. So, wow. You can kind of see a morphing from, you know, the psychedelic and, you know, funk into more of a rock sound for the 70s era. Had so many elements in it, you know, and it was just a powerful performance. Thanks so much for this request, folks. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you want some more vanilla fudge, let me know. I think my aunt has some good recipes. <laughs> anyway, take care, folks. Until next time.